Hello guys, Freelio from the 4.0.1 PTR. I am on my priest, Mana Thistle, uh, who I changed into a female Draenei, because I've never ever had one, and figured, ah, what the heck. Um, anyway, I do want to show you what's different on priesties. Uh, as for shadow priests, there's a couple of new abilities, such as Hardest Shadows, Increases the chance for you to gain a Shadow Orb when dealing damage with your Mind Flay and Shadow Word Pain by 8%. Uh, and you have a chance to gain a Shadow Orb when critically hit by an attack. So, uh, that's one of them. There's another one here that you actually make a copy, a duplicate of yourself. There we go. When you deal periodic damage with your Shadow Word Pain, you have a 12% chance to summon a shadowy version of yourself. Uh, which will slowly move towards the target which is affected by your Shadow Word Pain. Once it reaches it, it'll instantly deal Shadow Damage. While moving, the chance to summon the Apparition is increased. So it seems like a lot of classes are getting spells that are enhanced by moving. I know Druid's uh, Moonfire is. Uh, anyway, as you can see now, we don't have the... That's something about Priest that I, I will definitely comment on. We no longer have the Spirit Buff as that would be a mana regen buff, primarily. Uh, we don't have that anymore, but we do have Power Word Fortitude and Power Orb Shadow Protection. Uh, the things I do want to comment about all these buffs that people can put up now, no longer take regents. Or at least as far as I know, they don't take regents, because these have not taken regents, and they will buff not only yourself, but your entire party for a full hour, which is kind of neat. And Kings does that, all that good stuff. So. Uh, let's go ahead and attack stuff and see if we can't get something to proc. Uh, after we get a couple things to proc, I do want to show you something else here. Well, since it's affected, let's go ahead and just move and see if I can't... There we go, there's a shadowy copy of myself. And even your clickable... Oh look, I just copied a second one. So that's pretty cool. I guess if you're moving back and forth, that's not too bad. If you have to move, and just keep your shadow work paint up. And you'll continue to make duplicates. That way you're still doing damage while moving. That's actually pretty cool. I think it's pretty cool. I mean, how many people other than mages can make copies of themselves that, you know, will actually move and do damage and is targetable and entertaining? Uh, anyway, let's see, what else is there? Alright, sorry I had to find it again. I wanted to be able to show you Sin and Punishment now, which has changed down from your Vampiric Embrace to your Vampiric Touch. And on down to Sin and Punishment, um, not only does it do its own effect, but when your Mind Flay critically hits, the cooldown of your Shadow Fiend is reduced by 20 seconds. And already with the other uh, spec into here, it reduces it by another 2 minutes. So instead of it being a 5 minute cooldown, it's 3 minutes. And then when you crit, uh, you have a chance, well actually I guess it just says when you crit, um, with your Mind Flay, it is reduced by 20 seconds. So to get that down, that's 3 per every minute, so if you crit 9 times with your Mind Flay, your thing is reset. But by then, of course, 20 seconds has probably gone by. So if you have a lot of crit and you crit a lot, then Shadow Fiend is just going to be another ability you use. So now when I've been playing, I've been popping it out. So let's do a timer here. And, uh, I'll keep it at the top of the screen. And, uh, I'll use nothing but my Mind Flame. And we'll see, uh, how long it takes to proc back. So we'll hit it, start this, and Mind Flame. As you can see, I don't have a ton of crit. There we go, that just reduced it. Another one. Oh, there's another one. Ah, uh, another one. See, so it really is popping it up quite quickly. So if you're doing this in between all your other spells, all it is is going to be is a complete bonus. I don't know if people are actually going to try to work it into a rotation, or a sort of, you know, like, priority system or something, but for now, I mean, it's just kind of nice to have a little sooner, which means you're not going to go out of mana. There you go. Within 45 seconds, it popped back up. And it lasts for only 15 seconds, but if you do crit a lot, I mean, that's, I don't know, every 
30 to 45 seconds, you can keep getting mana back. So, really, mana issue? There's no such thing as a Shadow Priest. Uh, pretty cool. That's really all there is. The rotation and everything is still pretty much the same. Uh, you want to keep your dots up. And just go at it. Did I just see something parry? Was that a shadowy thing of myself that got parried or something? Because I didn't know spells could get parried. I, I don't know. Anyway, so that's the Shadow Priest. Um, in just a bit, I will also be uh, taking video of a Holy Priest and Disc Priest. Um, hope everybody enjoys their Shadow Priest in the patch. It's going to be pretty cool with the new shadowy apparitions at the very least. Um, until next time.